What is up, Greaseballs? It's your boy. Oh, no. Warren's Castle. Dude, it's the 4th of July. No, it's not. This is, like, a month later. <laughs> so, yeah, we're filming uh, a new addition to the Crunkyverse. Yeah, the Crunkyverse. Which we know, we've done Tropical Freeze. We've done Tropical Freeze twice now, and we teased a different game at the end of Tropical Freeze, but we're playing this instead. Well, you know, it's like it's like when like a company will be like... That's true. Tro- the Tropical Freeze is focusing on the Kong family. This is introducing the Mario Bros into the Crunky Bros. Yeah, you know, it's like, it's like the MCU, you know, you have yeah. like Iron Man 1 and 2, and then this is like Thor. <laughs> but I guess like Thor is kind of bad, so like, was that a bad amount? Like, the, the first know. one was... I mean, the, I do remember thinking Thor 1 was mid as a kid. <laughs> I don't even remember it. I like, but, like vaguely remember wait, 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 watching wait, it with the volume. What, what, what is this? Is this like... Captain America, then? Sure, yeah. <laughs> like, Wait, Mar- does that mean this Captain in the Italy. The Captain f- Italy? <laughs> Wait, how do you play you, Mario? You play the game. You run. It's fucking Mario. do 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 Alright, so, uh, what is up, my boy? Oh, wait. I'm... I know what to talk about. Oh, okay. I'm at a personal... In a personal war with a cricket. Oh, yeah. This was literally last night. So, the, for, like, the past, like, two, three days... I've just, you know, been bing chilling in my apartment. Oh, you gotta get the green stars. Um, you know, just like, you know, red it like, at like, oh, 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 oh. You should bubble. Yeah, there you Wait, go. Wait, how do you bubble? I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. I think it just automatically does it. Anyway, so I've just been like, you know, asleep at like, every night. Uh, <laughs> and then... At what time do you usually go to bed? Pretty late. But in the morning, so like at like 5 a.m., there's this fucking cricket. And, and it was not 5 a.m. No, no, like this, this was the other day, you oh, fucking okay. dipshit. The other day... I think we the, go through this point. There's shit up here. Is there shit up there? It's just a... There's a clock. There's a cock. A cock. <laughs> there's a bunny. Wait, can we kill the bunny? I mean, not... You can't kill it. It's an E-rated Mario game. I'm but, dead, I'm dead, know, I'm dead. What does the big bunny even give you? A big mushroom? You f- what, is, what am I supposed to do with this? Why is this here? I did not know this was did here. We have to go through the pipe. <laughs> I, think, I think you did just die. I'm trying to talk about my Let cricket. Talk window. about the fucking cricket. Okay, so like <laughs> the other day at 5 a.m., it woke me up with its like <laughs> sound. That's the sound of cricket. Made. It is. I can put it in the video. And then I was like, "This is really annoying." And then. <laughs> Last night it was doing it at like 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. too. I'm like, it's fucking 11 o'clock at night. Why is there? A, why is like the cricket like trying to have sex? Like, because that's why crickets make their noise. I guess that's why it, make it, their they're, noise. they're doing the little oh, epic gamer save. That was an epic gamer save, actually. It would have been sad if we died to the first level of the 3D world. <laughs> Wait, and then um. So yeah, I went to bed as all normal, and then the fucking cricket woke me up at like 3 a.m., right? <laughs> and I was just like, I went, I took a piss, you know, like as you do at 3 a.m., and I was just like trying to go back to sleep, but I couldn't because in my ear it's just... <laughs> <laughs> and it's like literally right under my window, because we live on the first floor yeah, near the door. There's right underneath the fucking bedroom window that I have, underneath my bed, basically, was this <laughs> fucking cricket. And I felt like it was like the telltale heart, bro. Like, I was just going insane. Oh, where it's like, Where it's like this, do, 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 do. And I was like, I'm going to fucking murder someone. Like, I if, if, like... if it wasn't a cricket, and if someone, like, was, like, pranking me with the sound of a cricket, I would have strangled <laughs> them. Because I was trying to sleep, bro, and I couldn't. So I was, I, like, vaguely awake at 3 a.m. So I went I up... I heard you rustling around in the kitchen. I was like Yoda after Palpatine shocked him. I, like, opened one eye, like, what's going on outside? <laughs> so, yeah, I went outside to go find this cricket, like, because it was in the bushes. Like, I turned on my phone light, bruh. I was, like, looking in the dark. I was like, where is this motherfucker? I'm going to kill him. And then I'm gonna kill him. when I first went up there, I took, like, a Dixie cup of water, and I, like, sprayed water in the bushes, which, like, shut him up for, like, a second, but then he, like, started bitching again. Damn. And then... 
And then I was like Googling online. I'm like, like I really wanted like to see if like there was like some like low vibration frequencies or something that would like make the cricket's ears implode or something. <laughs> make him explode. Or like some sort of like frequency that like would like be annoying to it. You know what I mean? Because like if, if he's gonna annoy me with his frequencies, I wanted like I'm like what's like I was Googling like what's a sound that annoys a cricket, but I couldn't like there was nothing that I could find. Science doesn't have an answer. No, dude, I felt tempted to, like, be, like, like, like when you have an annoying neighbor, like, you play yeah. m loud music back. Like, I felt like doing that, like, playing cricket sounds back at it. Be like, hey, bitch, there's another male here. There's a cricket <laughs> inside. <laughs> but, uh, I, one suggestion I saw on Google was that, like, because, like, their wings, you know, like, that's what makes that's, the... I, yeah, I guess that's what makes the noise. Um, I said, like, if, if you get all, if you get, if they get sticky... They don't make a noise, or they can't make noise because their wings can't flap. So I followed a Google suggestion. Why can't I kill this? Because bad. And I put a little thing of syrup outside, so like if it finds it, it'll get all sticky. Is it attracted to syrup though? I don't know. On Google, it was like if it finds the bait. <laughs> D okay, did, did that work, or, like, no? No, because, I mean, it, it might work. It didn't find it last night, because I went back to bed, and it was like... Oh, so, so you I, were like, able to go back to sleep. After, like, another fucking two hours. It didn't help, because like, I was also struck. I was having, like, work dreams. Like, <laughs> I hate dreaming about work, bro. I don't have work dreams, ever. I, I It happens to me, like, once every month, where, like... Yesterday wasn't even that stressful a day at work. It's just like, ugh. I mean, your work is going under anyway. Yes, I'm a manager, and it sucks. Yeah. I just want to be normal. Yeah, you should go back to being but no, normal. It, 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 it's cool, because like, whenever I meet like a girl or something, I'm going to be like, I'm the manager. I'm in charge <laughs> And like, you know, that makes me feel good. Ooh, little, 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 little. We don't get hot girls at my work. We get greaseball gamers. And rednecks that look at Pokemon cards for an hour straight. All right, you need some explanation to and, do, like, because like they're like, hey, where do you man, work? Look at this Venusaur. Where do you work? I work at a used bookstore, but it also sells a bunch of other shit, like used video games and just random pop culture merch. Like a Heisenberg Funko Pop. Yeah, like a Heisenberg Funko Pop that we priced at $120 for whatever fucking reason. No one's going to buy it. Dude, Everyone that's asked about it and I tell them the price of it, they're like, all right, I'm not buying that. And it's annoying when I have to like tell people this is the price of shit and then they're like, Okay, and then they just walk away. I mean, so, that happens all the time. Sometimes people will come into my restaurant and see the price of stuff on the menu and then walk out. And I'm like, thank you for leaving. <laughs> decided to buy Pokemon Emerald for $225. And I'm like... Mount Beanpole. I'm like, why are you doing this to yourself? Yo, I got a green stuff. But then again, I put the cartridge of Metroid Zero Mission on hold. Bitch! Bitch! What? I don't know. You're like, oh, Metroid... And I'm, I'm like, talking about my work. Yeah, it makes you sound depressing. I mean, it kind of <laughs> is a little bit. Whenever I see the price of retro games at work, I'm like, I hate the retro game market. Well, that's not the retro game market. You're, we work in a business. Like, if you, like, someone was selling it online, it probably wouldn't be that expensive. Okay, I mean, uh, kind uh, of. Uh, 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 no, we, uh, use, we use online to price our shit. Yeah, but then you gotta pay the employees and stuff. Like if it was like Piper. if it was just like one person selling it online, they wouldn't need to pay employees. Yeah, and but themselves. people still sell Pokemon Gale of Darkness for four hundred dollars online. Well, yeah, that's a, that's a GameCube game, my boy. Yeah, people still sell Kuan for the PS2 at nine hundred dollars online. Do what? It's the FromSoft game, but before they got famous. And it's rare, apparently. And then rare. Whenever someone asks about it, and I'm like, it's nine hundred dollars, they're like, mm. you have it at the store. Yeah. Someone was genuinely considering it one time, and I'm like, uh. Mount Beanpole. We also have this like enormous John Stewart Green Lantern action figure, or like not action figure, what but like heck? statue. And someone was like, it was like $2,000, and someone's genuinely considering buying it, but he was like, I have to consult my wife first. <laughs> and me and the manager were like, we know what that means. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Was, that's like the funniest story. Wait, ever. wait, wait. That reminds me, because like, isn't there like a gigantic Lego Captain Rex that's like 1500 bucks? There bucks? is a gigantic Lego uh, Captain Rex that's like 15. It was like from a Toys R Us display. 
We actually have a Toys R Us. I'm sorry about the thing you actually have the giant no. Mario Kart. We have a we have another Toys R Us display that's like a giant Spider Man. You might have seen it by the register. It's no. a three thousand uh, dollar Spider Man thing, and it's like, why do we have that there? Apparently, someone else was genuinely. That's also for Ultimate Grease Balls. Buying that too. You basically like so. I always say, "What is up, Grease Balls?" But like, yeah, no, our your store, job is the definition yeah, of the Grease yeah, Balls we, that I'm referring to. We have a lot of Grease Balls. It's it's like Grease Balls. See, your job sounds then, interesting. Though. I'm tired of serving food to the degenerate public. It's like we have Grease Balls, and then we have old ladies that are looking for books. And those uh, are the I thought you were saying old ladies looking for stuff for their grease ball sons. No, I mean that <laughs> happens too sometimes. Like there was a lady that apparently sold all of their sons in sixty four games, and they were trying to buy them back, and they had a whole list, and they were like, "Do you have Banjo Kazooie?" And I'm like, "Let me take a look." Damn. Have you tried connecting or playing with friends? No, this Yo, is, is this like the this tease is the for segue like where we get to have special guest stars the, on this series? The tease for yeah. Wait, okay, so this is like in the Crunky Mode universe. Wait, does that mean Super Smash Bros? This is like the final thing we play Brawl, where it's like <laughs> Donkey Kong Brawl. and Diddy Kong and Mario and Luigi. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> does that mean Kirby is in the Crunky verse? Um. I guess so. Mouthful mode? We never finished that, we by the way. Never finish what happened? Why did. Did I get, like, depressed or something? I like, think you did. Because when was Mouthful mode? Mouthful mode was, like. Was it April? April. It was yeah. April, yeah. Okay. Interesting. We don't talk about April. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean we, we could talk about it. Let's not talk about <laughs> it. I mean, I guess if you have nothing else. To we don't talk about Bruno. Bruno. I still haven't. <laughs> it's a. <laughs> It's a song from, uh, whatchamacallit. What? That, uh, Disney movie. What Disney movie? Um... There's like 8,000... The One! The One? With the Magic Family. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> the Magic Family! <laughs> what? All the girls love it. What? One of my coworkers was like... Singing, we don't talk about Bruno, but this was like a few months ago. What? I, I have no idea. Can you describe this a little more? Like clearly? it's like the Colombian family. What the fuck are you? Bitch, how you sound so dumb right now? Is this like a recent movie? Yes, it was like last year or like the beginning of this year. Hmm. And there's a guy in it called Bruno, and they don't talk about him for some reason. Why do they not talk about I him? I don't know. I haven't seen the movie. <laughs> what did Bruno do that was so I think, like, Bruno, like... Oh, man, this is weird. So, like, there's one girl who, like, can hear everything? I mean, I can hear everything. No, like, she can hear everything. Well, how do you... It's fucking Encanto! Oh, you could like, have just said Encanto. Because, like, we keep... So, like, they, they I were, know absolutely nothing They, they were sending all the, uh... The, the, Cartwo had, like, the memes. Remember, like, the one time where it was, like, the memes where it was, like... Like, where about, like, people were making, like, fan fiction or, like, fan theories about, like, one guy being, like, pansexual or something? No, I don't remember that. I, I don't remember Well, the stamp! Get the stamp! I'm trying! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get the top of the flagpole either. Okay, it's because I was trying to do a backflip to get the stamp, but I ended up long jumping also, instead. I thought, the buttons are like the same. I thought Encanto was like medieval magic, not like an Ital or Colombian. A Italian? Italian? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Colombian, they're not the same. <laughs> not, not like a Colombian family that like, What do you mean medieval stuff? magic? I don't know. What do you think it was about? I don't know. I know nothing about Medieval it. Medieval magic is like fucking Rapunzel, you idiot. Okay. It's a Disney movie. That's why I assumed as such. Dude, we haven't seen Turning Red. I don't want to see Turning you Red. You don't care about 9-11? What? <laughs> you know, remember the memes? Because it's a kid's movie? And because it takes place in like... 2001 or whatever in Canada, some oh. film reviewer was like, why doesn't it talk about 9-11? Apparently <laughs> in the movie Planes, there's a shot of New York City without the twin towers in it, and this implies that not only did 9-11 happen in the Planes universe, but the person, the people that did it were sentient terrorists. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> and like, that's like kind of a fucked up fact. Also, is, doesn't planes exist in the Cars universe? 
I think so. So that means 9-11 happened in the Cars universe. Oh, uh, blue, 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 blue. of cars. Yeah, that's a blue mushroom. Oh, wait, it's shit. green. That's not a blue mushroom, you colorblind piece of shit. <laughs> Probably looked blue for like a split second. You gotta go through the waterfall. Technically, you have to do this level twice, too, because you can't get all the stars and the stamp on one. What a one. bitch. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, that, was, that was a power star. That was not the end of the level. The power star. For some reason, I thought we were playing like Mario 64, and like when we went into that star, I was like, oh, the level's <laughs> over. <laughs> Bam! Dude, for some reason, the Z Z Legend of Zelda the, the TV Z show came up in DC last night, and I forgot that show. The Excuse Me Princess? What? Yeah. And Philip was like, Link sexually harasses Zelda every episode. Based? No, wait, <laughs> let me take that back. <laughs> Are we going to do the Captain one? Chode level? Do you want to do the Captain Chode level? I don't know. We know retail American Psycho yesterday. What? Why? Because we have too many DVDs. I thought you said we have too many American Psycho. No, I mean, we just have too many DVDs, period. But I'm like, what if I want to buy something that's no retail? And they're like, you can do it. It's like a dollar. I'm like, sweet. Wait, did you get it? I mean, I might buy I mean, I need to wait for the offer to be accepted, and then I might buy American Psycho. Just so I can watch it. I've never seen Dude, it. I want to see it too. It's like the uh, the Chad like textbook. It's like <laughs> The Chad textbook? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no, like the, the handbook <laughs> on how to oh, be a Sigma male. This multiplayer. Why am I the blue toad? Because you're a bitch. Did, did, did Wait, am I toad bird? Toad bird? Yeah, from Mario and Luigi. That looks kind of cringe. All right, I hate. They made a whole game about this shit. They did make a whole game. Yeah, when are, this is shit. Captain? Does that mean Captain Toad is in the Crunky verse? Yo, does that does that mean we have to play Captain Toad Treasure Tracker in the Crunky verse? I don't want to. I don't want to either. I mean, if someone buys it to me, then I'll feel obligated. I mean, to I might be able to rent it if it's at work, because I think I can rent a video game at work. <laughs> rent Captain Toad. I could, if we have it. I don't think we have it, though. Oop. I think our Switch game selection is, like, very small. Very dog. Yeah. Not dog, just small. We have, like, seven copies of LEGO Star Wars for some reason. And I think one person turned all of those copies in. They were expecting, like, to, like... Yeah, they were expecting to make a bank, but they don't realize how we do things, and they got, like, half of the money they spent on all of those copies. They were trying to make an investment. Yeah, they were trying. <laughs> Emphasis on trying. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm going to teach you the tips about LEGO investing. You want to buy all these sets and then sell them at a ridiculous price back. I did get the uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn LEGO set at work, though. Dude. Baloney said that the Ahsoka show was a religious experience. That show's gonna be based. <laughs> it's gonna be Rebels Season 5, basically. Yeah. Because uh, we already have Sabine and we know adult, or uh, not adult, but Hera is gonna be in it. Adult Hera? I don't know why. I was thinking of she Bad wasn't Batch an adult. for some reason. <laughs> I was thinking of Bad Batch for some reason. Adult Omega? Omega? Wait, what, what if... I don't think that's gonna be what happens, but... Do, 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 do. For some reason, like, the Captain Toad thing makes me think of, like, that part of Do Life when they're like, Welcome to <laughs> Do Life! <laughs> such a perfect town! Oh, we shoot. have some rules, let us lay them down. Wipe your ass face. <laughs> Keep all feet on the grass. Wait, can I, your can shoes, I, wipe your face. <laughs> can I share my like my number one life saying right now? Uh sure. What even is it? My life is like my ass. Oh yeah, that. Wait, my life is like my ass. I'm tired of all the shit I've taken. I just fucking walked off the edge. <laughs> we have to beat World One. We uh, Wait, I haven't done any like killing. Kill the Batman. Killing. Crunky move? I'm trying to kill you. Oh. Uh, that's what up. you meant by it. I was like, you haven't killed any enemies? I'm just trying to speedrun this level. Whoop, whoop. Oh. Oh, oh, open Gundam style. Oh, yeah, but there, we should do some fuckery. When we get the special some guest fuckery? stars. 
we'll do some fuckery. Some tomfoolery? Yes. Because I think when we get the special guest stars, I'm gonna have to be handheld on my Switch, because I don't think you can have local and online at the same time. Yeah, I think we'll have to join but VC. That, mean, that means I'll have to, that means I'll be in handheld and I can fuck with you guys with the touch screen. Wait, should we bring in a guest for the next episode? Yes, we should. We should bring in two guests. Two guests? Yeah. Let's do Philip and Cartwo. Okay. Not like, I thought we were gonna do like, like, like one person at a time and then like interview them. Oh, I mean, we could do that too. Wait, but that, that means like our special guests have to be consistent across episodes. So like if I'm Mario and you're Luigi, they have to like, if they're Toad, they always have to be Toad. Yeah, that's true. Because we can't be getting the lore confuzzled. Confuzzled? Is that even a word? Did you just make up a word on me? My favorite part of a uh, 3D world is when Cat Mario uh, pussied all over Bowser. That was like <laughs> a very low effort joke. <laughs> Dude, is this an uncanny boss battle? <laughs> yes. Wait, should we talk about that? We should talk about that. I mean, the, the episode's almost over, I bro. Could, I'll just, I'll send you the pictures and you just put the Well, explain the what they mean. And it's self-explanatory. So you guys know the shitty Incredibles game, right? Apparently there was a game guide for it, and on the game guide, like on the back of it, it says uncanny boss battles. And it's funny because of the Mr. Incredible becomes uncanny game. Which I did enjoy and think was funny for a long time, but then it became like mutilated, where like it was like Mr. Incredible becoming old you and like still sad. found it funny after it. <laughs> yeah, but now it's like cringe to think about. <laughs> yeah, you made a Mr. Incredible becomes old meme. You can't talk on the second channel. Yeah, but you still made it. <laughs> You can't talk. You just, I think it was funny because you said the progression of like old timey music to like, Welcome to the jungle! <laughs> and then like, when Crinkles linked the, those random Mr. Incredible becoming memes yesterday, I was like, watch Morton find these funny. And you did. Well, it was funny because there was an Among Us egg. There was like Mr. Incredible becoming sus. And there was oh, like wait, a, that's what it was. I forgot what it was. There was an Among Us nugget. And I was like, this is pretty funny. <laughs> Oh, well, it's because of the music, you know. We need to play Among Us again. I wasn't really in the mood to play it. Baby, I could tell. I saw you vent. I didn't vent. I wasn't. I no, wasn't I, even the imposter I, once. I vented and killed you. That's what yeah. I did. I'm a good imposter. I wasn't the imposter once, and I'm mad. When the imposter is a little bit suspicious. Damn. We played Amogus in 2022. We did. Yeah, we got My a Bowser sticker. My store has a whole Among Us cable in 2022. Because we have so much Among Us merch that hasn't been <laughs> sold. Is you right? would think that, like, maybe they should stop making that merch. And no we're, we're just trying to get rid of it at this point, I think. <laughs> yeah, give me some. We have a when random, it's, like, free, I'll take it. <laughs> we have a random Among Us plushie just sitting in the back of the store, and I'm like, he will never see shelves. <laughs> Bro, you imagine being, like, a kid and your first stuffed animal was an Among Us plushie? I would feel And, like, sorry you were very child. attached to it. <laughs> and then you... Oh, and then Among you... Us plushie <laughs> is your first... Wait, that's like the Mr. Incredible becoming old. B.O.B. your first stuffed animal. Shut the fuck up about Mr. Incredible. <laughs> it's like the Among Us plus she has the baby one. Dude, when I was evaluating books the other day, I saw it's the like Incredibles a... junior novelization, and I was like, I wonder if the word uncanny appears in this book. All right, that, that's a question that'll be answered next, next time. time. I should buy the book and read it. <laughs> but we'll... we'll... Maybe have some special guests for episode two in world two. See you all next, next time. time.